Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60, and I'm here today to film my 600th video. And what could be better than a favorites? It's been a while since I sat down and filmed, so it seems a little bit funny, but I have enjoyed my time off, and we have been having a wonderful autumn, a true autumn. So that's my favorite time of the year, and I've been enjoying it so much. I did learn how to film my quilts, <laughs> and I think what I'll probably do is put a quilt at the end of a video. Right now, I have four quilts that I have videotaped and taken uh, screenshots, and I think I have six more to do. But I, I do it upstairs. I want it, the sun to be shining. So anyway, I'm, I'm pretty proud that I figured that out, and I think I have it figured out with iMovie on how to do this without it showing up as a big question mark. Missing film. That was pretty stressful. I want to thank you for all your suggestions. On my last video about places to shop online, I am willing to pay more to shop locally, to privately own businesses, but when it comes to shopping online, I really do want to get the best price I can get unless it is a privately owned business. My history in shopping, I've shared this before, I never ever like to go in a store and go shopping. Not, I can never remember, well, I remember one time I was looking for some a piece of jewelry for my mother and I, I enjoyed that. I always enjoyed going out to lunch and we live in a rural area and for us to go in store shopping, it's about an hour in several different directions. We have several places to go. My very first experience with shopping was from J.C. Penney from their catalog, and I remember getting the catalog. And, and I, this, I was an adult. I don't remember my mom ever ordering anything, unless it was something from Sears. I kind of remember her filling out an order blank, but I can remember filling out the order and enclosing my check and mailing it to J.C. Penney. And in a couple of weeks, I'd have my order. And it wasn't too long after that I found Spiegel, and Spiegel had a catalog called The Ultimate Outlet. And I know my middle sister is going to remember this. We absolutely loved when they had The Ultimate Outlet because they would be like 75% off of items. I don't know if any of you all remember that or not, but it was always a good time anytime we got The Ultimate Outlet. And of course, my kids. They loved getting the Christmas catalogs, and I usually had one for each of them. They would mail you one, and then you could go into a store and get one. Well, I didn't mind going into a store and getting another one, because so they'd start circling things around the holidays, and it was a lot of fun. I had several questions about cashback, and I will put a, if you're not interested, I'll put the time in to skip ahead, because I'm just going to explain it to you the best that I know. And the three that I use are Rakuten, which used to be Ebates, Mr. Rebates, and Be Frugal. I started using Rakuten in 2013. All three of these places, all, that, all they require is your name, your email, and your address. And that's so they can send you a check. I learned about the Ebates or Rakuten on my own. I learned about that before I started watching YouTube videos, and I I use it all the time. You, there's two ways you can go to any of these. You can add extensions in your on your laptop. I don't know about phones, but I know on my laptop because I always order on my laptop. And extensions only work for me when I use Chrome as my browser. It doesn't work on Safari. I don't know. I don't know why, but it doesn't. So when I go to any shopping site, I can just click on at the top of my page to see what Rakuten's paying, what Mr. Rebates is paying, and what Be Frugal is paying, and I can go from there. If you sign up for Rakuten, I earn some money. You earn some money after you have spent like twenty-five dollars. I think is what it is, or it changes all the time. Once you're signed up, you'll get a little code and you can suggest it to your friends. It's not like a pyramid or like a multi-level marketing. It's just it's just an easy way to, to earn cash back. I'm pretty sure I learned about Mr. Rebates from Miss Kristen 321. If you sign up for Mr. Rebates, 
And after you've spent just a little bit of money, I can't remember, it doesn't say exactly how much, I think it's $10, then you'll earn $10. And I don't get a cash back on that. Like if you've earned a dollar in cash back, I will earn 20% of that. So I would earn 20 cents, but there's no cash back for me. And Be Frugal, I signed up in 2016 for it. I could find that. But Marlene Fab and Glam is the one who really brought it to my attention. So I always check to see who's paying the most. You can go to their website and put in the store that you're interested in shopping. It will tell you if their cash back program offers anything. So if you sign up for my link for Be Frugal, I earn $10 after you've earned $10 and then you get $10. It's not a, there's nothing about it that's a scam. You can just go directly to the sites and sign up without going through anybody. But one thing I recommend is always keep your confirmation until you, you can go on the page and see that you've got your cash back. Something else I need to tell you on Built Bars, you know, I love my Built Bars. Their Be Frugal has 15% cash back on your first order. So after you've placed your first order with Built Bars, the 15% cash back doesn't apply. But Rakuten and Mr. Rebates, they always have 7 or 8% cash back. But I wanted to kind of clear that up with you. And each of the sites have a certain amount of time, like Be Frugal, if you haven't gotten your cash back in seven days, you just click on this and you copy and paste your, your confirmation from your order and they always put it back on. But I always check because I'm just that way. But if you're somebody who's tempted to shop because there is 25% cash back at some place, it's, it's not good because it, I only use it on things that I need or things that I want or Christmas gifts. But if you're tempted by to overspend because there's a good deal, it, it's probably not for you. Built Bar does have a new flavor. It's like pumpkin chocolate chip. They sent me some and I thought it was good. It was 130 calories, 17 grams of protein, and I'm not sure what the carbs were, but they don't bother me at all. You know, I, I think I do, I do net carbs is what I kind of count, and I never have a craving for anything else. That's what matters to me. I can eat something that is, depending on what they use as a sweetener, Sometimes it'll trigger me to want more, and I have maintained my 17 pound weight loss. Sometimes it's been 18, but I have maintained it, and I'm still just trying to maintain my weight loss. But you know, a can of tuna fish has 20 grams of protein for a whole can, so I like to, ha I like to have protein around. You just never know when you might need some protein. All of my favorites are having to do with the home, and except for one thing, and that is one thing with beauty and that's my eyebrows and I have absolutely nothing on my eyebrows some time ago I bought the small set of the grande brows and grande lash and all that well I opened this on June 22nd and this is the grande brow this is the full size and I use it every Monday Wednesday and Friday I just I don't dip back in I just put it on my eyebrows and my eyebrows have thickened up. And uh, my sister asked me, she said, what are you doing to your eyebrows? They're darker. And I said, they're just fuller. So I'm really happy and I'll let you know how long this lasts. But I think it's gonna last at least nine months. I have tried, I tried it the first time I tried an eyebrow thickener. This was six or seven years ago. It made my eyebrows grow, but they didn't get any thicker. And I did try castor oil and black castor oil on my eyebrows and they didn't work. So this has been, I really like it because I don't like doing my eyebrows unless I just put a little bit of hairspray on them. I just never was very good with eyebrows. So I'm glad that I don't have to do anything to them and they're fuller and it makes me happy. Now I'm going to go to the bathroom and before I show you this, I want to tell you a story. Probably about 20 years ago, I redid a room and made it into my bathroom and I will put a link to it's an old video I don't like it but it does show you my bathroom well one of the doctors that I knew had said one time they had seen more back injuries from patients reaching back to get toilet paper off the wall and at that time I thought I'm gonna get a freestanding toilet paper holder well when I did my bathroom I said I did not want to have a recessed toilet paper holder and I shopped around and they were, I actually had to go in stores to find these at this time. And I found one that was porcelain that had a, the base was about this big, about this big around and it held the toilet paper. 
Well, after 20 years, it fell over and it busted, and I did not want to go shopping for one. So I went to Amazon and I found one, and I could not be happier. Here it is. It has a very, very solid bottom base, so this one won't turn over, and it's just so easy to put a roll on. I will give you a tip. I would squeeze my roll on any type of toilet paper holder because then it won't go down and be all puddled at the bottom of the floor. I'm not sure if that happens to you, but that has happened to me. But it doesn't since I quit, since I started squeezing it. So I'm very happy for that. I'm really happy that it was substantial because I did not have any idea. I thought if I get this and it is not, it's where it will turn over, I'll, I'll just send it back because I just took my chances and I didn't want to go into the stores shopping for it. The next is my kitchen and I got to show you this is what you all told me would be the best can opener and it's the OGX Good Grips. I think this was around $15 and it works like a charm. What I like it has the big handle right here and it's manual but it doesn't leave any sharp edges. You all you all sent me to the right can opener. So we have another manual and we've had it for years and it's the swing away and several of you suggested that, and I still have my electric, and I don't even know what, what it is. But Jim doesn't like to do the electric, and this one, I'm just really, really happy with it. So you all do really, really well. In my last favorites, I'd shown you the five-gallon Ziploc bags, and I said I needed to find something different, and I found these, and I'm so, I can't tell you how long they'll last, but they're two-gallon. I'll just fold it in half. It came with two greens and two pinks, and I can put meat in here, and I have like my fruits in one of them, and so far so good, but they're the perfect size because, you know, if you get something much bigger, it's kind of heavy to pull up, and a lot of times after I go to bed at night, Jim will ha get a taste for something, and he, can, he just knows which bag to go into, and he can get a hamburger patty out, he can get whatever he wants, and he can fix it. And I've kept up with the list on the side of the refrigerator, like where everything is, so all he has to do is look for it, and uh, and it's working out real well. After I've used those for a while, if I have any problems, I'll let you know. They're easy to wash, and, and I, I like them. Now this next part is all about coffee, because I, you know that is one of my very simple pleasures in life. When I film my video, the 10 things I can't live without, I had brought in a frother and anyway on the way back to the kitchen I dropped it and it broke so I had a backup and this is my backup and it comes with the stand and I was using that and I thought oh I need to get another backup because now I'm using my backup could I live without my frother yes but do I want to I want I want to keep frothing my milk well I went on Amazon and I was looking for another one and I found one that does not require batteries. It has two of the little spinny things right here, and it is rechargeable. And I've, I've used this two to three times a day for the last month, and I haven't had to recharge it. It has three speeds, and it also has a little whisk with it, so I don't know if I'll use this or not, but it's just really easy to take them off and put them on. But I love the fact that it's rechargeable. I had the extra stand and I just kind of crimped this. It didn't come with the stand and I like the stand and so I, it just sits in there. So that holds it in there. So it makes me happy. The next product I'm going to talk about is something I have had my eye on since 2014. When I was at my cousin's in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, we were staying at her home and she had a, a Nespresso and I'll type it in up here. And I absolutely love the coffee. But because we have a Keurig and have a backup and a bun coffee maker, I just never, th I just thought this is kind of silly to get another coffee maker. Well, I was watching a friend of mine, Kathy, from Kathy's Beauty Care Chat some time ago, and she was talking about her Nespresso. And I said something to Jim. I said, you know, I hate to take up counter space to get another coffee thing, but I think I really would enjoy it. And he said, life is too short. <laughs> he said, you need to order that. Well, I absolutely love it. And I had been watching it on Amazon, and I think I paid $142 for it. 
and I, I, I'm going to try to put some pictures in here. I don't know if they'll work or not, but I knew I needed a place to hold my capsules and I wanted to keep it contained in one spot. So if I put a picture in here, there it is, and I have an antique ashtray there with the spoon, my frother, and then the capsules are beneath it. I got the Nespresso Virtuo Plus and Espresso Maker. So I can order capsules that are for espressos. I can order capsules that are coffee. It tells you how many fluid ounces, and it's very easy to operate. The cap I'll show you a capsule in a minute because I got to tell you a story. The first time I ordered capsules, I ordered them from Amazon. And then I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to check their website. So I got the capsules in. They were fine. Well, I, I ordered some from their website. And I ordered four tubes. And it was free shipping and handling. And I think they were about the same price on the Nespresso website that they were on Amazon. Well, when I got the box, I could tell it was kind of bulging. And I had, like I said, I had four tubes. Well, this one was open. It was open. And I took one out, and I'll show you what they look like. And it was bent. It was bent around here, and I knew it would not work in, I knew it wouldn't work in the coffee maker. So that day, I went ahead and I called Nespresso, the company. And I said, I think they tried to put four boxes into, um, they tried to slide an extra box in. I said, when it arrived, it was open, and some of the pods, the capsules, were all crushed. And she said, well, count and see how many. And I think out of this box right here, I think four were crushed. She said, well, I'll send you another tube. She said, no problem. Well, anyway, she said, well, have you looked at your other one? So I looked at the other three tubes of coffee and there were a couple in each box. So she said, I'm going to go ahead and send you three new tubes. I said, well, that's not necessary. But anyway, she insisted. She also registered my Nespresso with the company and they could not have been more helpful. So I'm gonna continue ordering right straight from the company. I think sometimes Bed Bath & Beyond sends 20% coupons. I may purchase some from them, but I just couldn't believe the good customer service. And also, they send you a bag with that already has shipping and handling and you just drop this in the bag when, when you get quite a few of them and you can mail them back because they recycle, they recycle the whole thing. And they use the coffee for something. But they're very conscientious to avoid waste. So now I kind of need to talk about what, what wasn't my favorites. Well, Jim and I have not been out to eat in a restaurant since like the 27th of February. So we've been cooking, or I'll tell you what we do, sometimes it works out so well. We have two locally owned restaurants and a lot of times we will order the meat. It might be ribs, it might be chicken, it might be barbecue, it might be fish, but we will order the main dish and then I will fix the sides to go with it. Well, I was kind of interested in one of the food subscription services. So I went on YouTube and I looked, I'd been seeing some advertising for um, Freshly. So I went on YouTube and I brought up somebody talking about Freshly. And I watched the video and I thought, you know, that's something I might want to try. So I used her code and I ordered one week with four dinners using that YouTuber's discount. And I think it was Mr. Rebates. I got over $4 back from that. It averaged out each meal was $8, a little under $8. Well, I had mentioned in my last favorites that I was kind of iffy about it. It just didn't work for us. I immediately paused and then I canceled. We tried all three. I liked them better than Jim. I'm a little bit more adventuresome than he is, but to me, they weren't worth $8 a meal at all. I, I could probably find something in a frozen section. I did like the way they were packaged. They're cooked on, they're supposed to be chef prepared on a Thursday and then it's FedEx to you on Friday. I was very impressed with the way it was packaged. I was very impressed that they used so many things that were recyclable, but it just, you know, like the best one was the Sicilian Parmesan chicken. It was pretty good, but the side was just plain broccoli. It just wasn't to me, it wasn't worth it. So, and it definitely wasn't worth it to Jim. So that was kind of a fail. And if you guys have any suggestions on something similar to that, that you have been happy with, please let me know. 
My other fail was I ordered something from Nordstrom. Didn't order anything from Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, but I had had my eyes on the Eyes to Mesmerize by Charlotte Tilbury. And they had a package. It had two of the eyeshadows and, and their cream eyeshadows and one of the Legendary Lashes Volume 2. And it was $70. Well, the eyeshadows alone are $32. So I, when I got it, when it arrived, it was a mess. <laughs> it was a mess. The, the eyeshadow comes in little pots and I opened it up and all of the eyeshadow was in the cap. I did try it on my lids. It was okay. I mean, I wasn't going to keep it. It was damaged. I mean, I, I wasn't going to scoop all that from the lid and put it back. It just wasn't worth it. But I did try the Legendary Lashes, and I wasn't impressed. The Volume 2, to me, it was very comparable to the Lash Princess by Essence. It had the same effect on my lashes as it does. So anyway, I did return that, and they gave me my money back. So if I ever see one shade from the for, for the eyes to mesmerize that I really really like, I would I would order it. I think it just was turned upside down in packing. And that's really all that is new with me. I want to thank you all for watching for for watching my old videos when I was gone. That helped a lot and leaving comments. I appreciate that a lot. This is the underneath side of the quilt, and I wanted to share with you something about my bedroom before I showed it on my bed. When I purchased this home in 1991, I have the original wallpaper in the bedroom, and it doesn't go with any of these quilts. I keep an off-white quilt with off-white uh, pillows on it. Most of the quilts I'm going to eventually show you have been all hand quilted and machine stitched. And my, these were made by my former mother-in-law, and uh, she did beautiful work. I just put it over my existing bedspread, and each of the squares, you know, that are contained within the green border, they have 32 pieces that have been pieced together. And I don't know the name of the quilt, but it is similar to the Drunkard's Path, and that was like a Depression-era quilt. And everything with the exception of the white that she put in the background were all fabrics that she had used to make clothing. She made all her own dresses, her children's clothing, her husband's shirt. So she kept every scrap and used them to piece together a quilt. And hopefully you can see here how closely her stitches are together. She was a real stickler on making sure that she made very small stitches. And I just think it's a beautiful quilt. It is all good. And I will see you in my next video. Don't know if it'll be next Sunday or the next Sunday. I, I, if I have a video to put up, it'll be up at 6 a.m. Central Time on a Sunday morning. It's about an hour in several different ere directions. Erections. <laughs> or two. I'm not really sure. I, I, but I really do try to show up shopping was filming and